I was literally born into a restaurant. Literally almost into a restaurant. My grandmother owned a restaurant um, going back to the 60s in a very small town uh, not far from where I grew up. Very simple diner style food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, seven days a week. You know, Western omelets and, and hamburgers. And my father followed in her footsteps, opened a restaurant when I was five. Um, and still to this day has a restaurant in the town where I grew up. Worked my way from a pot scrubber where I had to turn over a, a milk crate so I could reach the bottom of the sink to reach the pots and pans um, through prep cook. Was a line cook all the way uh, all the way through high school at my father and my mother and father's restaurant. When I graduated high school, I kind of had a moment where I had to make a choice. But ultimately, when I sat down and thought about it, I said, you know, my, my, my life, my life's about cooking. It always has been. I could climb this mountain now, rise above the clouds and see. I don't think you can call yourself an artist ever. Um, I think what we do is artful, and I think that if other people are being emotionally charged with what we're putting out, then I guess it, it could be defined as art. At the end of the day, we're, we're cooks. And what we do is we try to craft a great length of a meal that tells a story and makes people excited and happy and, 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 and intrigued. There's a lot of mystery involved. There's a lot of how do they do that? And we never, we always want to keep the magic behind the curtain. We never want to reveal it too much because we feel then we would we would show our secrets and we want that sense of mystery. I think that's really important to our food. Yeah.